Um, it's gonna teach me a lot. Uh, you know, I know that I have a lot to work on. Uh, you know, uh, just um, just to get to the level where I want to be. Um, just stuff like taking care of the ball and um, um, I don't know, have a lot of stuff to work on. Joe, 71 games between the regular season and the playoffs, averaging over 30 minutes. How did it feel to finally have a full season where you were healthy? Feels good, you know. Um, if I, at the beginning of the year, if, if you would have told me that I would have played 71 games, I would have been like, eh, it was going to be tough. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm here. I, I did it, and I'm happy about it. And next year, um, I'm definitely going to play more games than that. Joel, when you talk about having a lot of things to work on this off season, what are some of those specifics? Just working. I think the main thing is working on my body. I feel like this season, coming into the season, I was, uh, I didn't do anything during the whole summer just because I had to rehab so much. And then at the beginning of the season, I, I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't ready and I was overweight. So I, I had so much uh, just because I couldn't do anything. So it was, uh, it was hard. So this season, this is my first year uh, going into a summer healthy. And I'm excited about it. I feel like next year is definitely going to be a uh, type of MVP season for me. Uh, so, uh, but it starts with my body and the skills. Uh, you know, I love being in the gym, and uh, uh, I don't feel like taking any time off. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how that's uh, how the summer goes. Yeah, yeah, Joe. That's what I was going to ask you about because this is going to be your first summer that you're actually going to be able to work out. Correct. Yeah. Like a full, so when are you going to, you say you don't feel like taking any time out, like when are you going to start revving everything up? Uh, I was, uh, I don't know. Uh, that told me that I should take at least, uh, I don't know, two weeks. But um, the other day I was thinking about it. I was like, if we lose, I mean, there's so many months in between um, bef um, before we actually get to starting all over again. And I was like, oh, too much so uh, I love being in the gym and I already miss basketball and uh, just I'm, I'm gonna watch the playoffs the rest of the playoffs just to learn more about about it all because that's the level where I want to be at next year uh, it's gone for finals or uh, actual NBA finals so uh, I don't know it just depends but uh, I already do miss basketball and uh, I don't know. I might start back tomorrow or I might start back in a week. Um, but I also need to kind of allow my body to kind of recover because I played with the eye and it's still not 100%. And my right shoulder was hurting uh, quite a bit. Uh, my elbow was pretty, I was hurting pretty bad too. So I kind of. I kind of have to allow my body to rest a little bit and make sure that everything is all ready to go before I start ramping it back up. Joel, obviously at the beginning of the playoffs, you guys thought you were the better team. Uh, people around the country thought you were the better team. What is it that you didn't do as a team, do well enough, and you mentioned expectations of the finals. Do you think the expectations really do have to be higher after 52 wins in a third seed for next year? I mean, why not? Uh, we started the season. Our goal was to make the playoffs, and uh, we did it, and then we changed it. Uh, we wanted to get that third seed, home court, at, home court advantage, uh, and then we were right there, and then we had a chance to get 50 wins. We changed our goal to 50 wins, and then going into the playoffs, uh, after that 16 win, winning game straight, uh, we knew that we had a pretty good chance, and uh, we beat we beat Miami, um, and then after that we thought that um, it was gone. I think I think we thought that it was gonna be a little too easy. I won't lie, um, but uh, you can't underestimate Boston. Boston was really good this series. Uh, Got to give them a lot of credit. I thought. Um, uh, we were. I thought we had. Uh, I thought we were better, but they just well coached. They did everything right. Uh, they made shots. They made. 
that made us work for everything. So you got to give them a lot of credit. Um, but um, that's not. But that's that's that that's that that was our first time being here, and I'm happy that I kind of got that experience, and uh, it's definitely gonna help me in the long run, and it's gonna help my teammates too. I think you and Ben got to probably know each other last year a bit when Ben wasn't playing, but how did actually playing meaningful games together on the court um, enhance, <coughs> develop your relationship? How would you track that from the start of the season to finish, how you guys grew together? Uh, we definitely got closer. Um, I mean, looking at, looking at ourselves, uh, we feel like we're the leaders of uh, this team and uh, looking at what we did this this year, 52 wins, uh, get to the semifinals in our first year together. I thought it was, uh, we could have done, done better, but I thought it was, it was good. Uh, you know, we, and next year, you know, we definitely gonna have much bigger goals than that. Um, and, uh, but, we grew together, we learned how to play together. At the beginning of the year, it was complicated because uh, just um, like just the way he plays and the way I play, you know, I need a lot of spacing and he's more of a uh, score. He wants to score inside. Uh, so we had to figure it out and we did and um, we made it work and we definitely got closer. Joel, what did the playoffs teach you about what what it takes to continue to to want to take that next step and build towards a championship? Um, it starts with uh, toughness. <clears throat> I mean, you got to be physical. Uh, both series that we played in them were really physical. Um, and then everybody got to show up, you know. Uh, can't have one guy not have a good game. We all got to play well together. Uh, it takes more than one guy, uh, you know. Uh, doesn't matter uh, if I have a good game, but if uh, someone doesn't show up, he can hurt us pretty bad. Same thing goes if uh, some if other guys are having a good game and I'm having a bad game. If I don't if I don't show up, it doesn't matter. So uh, you learn that you got to play well together you got to trust each other um and then you got to follow the game plan you know joe following up on next season um, boston division phone conference foe they're getting Kyrie and hayward back next year so what's it going to take to beat these guys what do you need to do to do better than two and seven against boston um Kyrie and gordon they're they're really good Kyrie is um, he's up there. He's a he's a top ten NBA player. Uh, he's really good. Uh, he's proved it. Um, Gordon too. Uh, they're gonna be tough. Um, to, they're gonna be tough to play against. Uh, I mean, looking at what they're doing right now with that those two, and once they get them back, they're gonna be even better. Um, but we're gonna be better too. Uh, like I said, I'm going into this summer thinking that I want to get better because I feel like next year is going to be a big year for me as far as, uh, you know, just um, being considered like winning the MVP. Um, so I'm definitely going to work hard for that. And, you know, Ben is going to get better, guys like, and we getting Markel back. Markel is going to be a base, you know. Um, just having one summer under his belt, just playing, getting better, getting his confidence back. I think he's going to be better. And then you got guys like Dario. Dario was a base. I mean, with all the talk about uh, me, Ben, I feel like Dario was was up there. Dario was amazing all season, and he's definitely going to get better. And then you got guys like TJ. TJ is amazing. I love I love him. Um, I, love the, I love the way he plays. Uh, hopefully, he's, he's, he's with us for the for a long time, uh, so we're gonna be better too, um, and then um, possibly we might add I don't know, a couple of free agents and hopefully sign the guys that we have on the team right now because we had a great group of guys, uh, guys we loved each other, we love playing with each other, um, uh, they're gonna be good, we're gonna be good too. Said they want you attempting more three pointers. Is that something you personally see? What? 
Coaches have said they want you taking more threes. Is that something you personally see becoming a bigger part of your game going forward, and is that something you're going to focus on in the off season? Um, threes, I, threes, I've never really been a big part of my game. I mean, if I'm open, I'm going to take them. Uh, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful to lay me. I might make some. I might miss some. Um, last year, I was a better three-point shooter this year. Uh, you know, not being able to walk uh, during the summer and kind of affected that then with all the injuries and stuff. Um, but this summer, like I said, is going to be a big one. And I know what I got to correct um, and my trainer does too. So we're going to fix a lot of things. But um, obviously I want to be a best inside. But um, part of my game is... Uh, kind of also you gotta it's not just about me uh, because if I spend all my time on the block it kind of clogs up uh, the paint and you know you kind of gotta allow guys to like drive and score the rim and I, you don't I don't always want to clog the paint so sometimes you have to spend time at the three point line just to, like open things up because I feel like I attract a lot of attention and uh, guys are not going to leave me open so he just opens the whole offense so uh, you know sometimes I have to spend time at the three point line and if I'm open I'm going to take them um, like I said I'm going to make some I'm going to miss some but next year definitely going to be a better shooter um, but uh, it's definitely a part of my game but um, the biggest part of my game is to be a low post dominant score Joel, a couple questions. First, now that you guys are out of contention, do you have a pick for who you think is going to win it this year? Uh, no, nah, I don't care. And secondly, you said Markel is going to be a beast, and you also mentioned that you love TJ and he was a beast. You know, those could end up affecting each other. If Markel comes back and he plays like how he was drafted, that could mean that there's not really a spot in the rotation for TJ. Have you thought about that and other guys that may not be here? Um, it's tough, but uh, TJ is that type of guy that you you have to play. He proved that uh, this series against Boston. Uh, I mean, without him in Game Four, um, I don't think we win that game. So uh, he's proving you that you have to play, man. <clears throat> he's gonna do his best. Uh, he's gonna play hard. He's gonna press. Uh, full court, he's going to uh, do his job offensively. That's to share the ball. And if he's open, he's going to shoot it. Uh, but uh, we got a great coaching staff. Coach Brown was amazing all year. Uh, the assistant coaches, Coach Lang, Coach Pierce, Babs, all those guys, Kevin John, like all those guys that were amazing. So uh, they're going to figure it out. And uh, But I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. <coughs> Joel, you've mentioned MVP a few times. What will it take for you to be in NBA and NBA MVP consideration? It starts uh, with my body. Um, I feel like <clears throat> I need to get quicker uh, than I am, uh, which is uh, uh, my condition and definitely got to get better. But they did a, an amazing job uh, just taking care of my body, you know. Um, I have a guy um, that they hire that just that just to take care of me. Uh, he's been doing an amazing job, you know. Every day, comes home, we work at any time, every hour. He's always home just making sure that my body is right. And if I need treatment, he's doing it. So... The team has done a good job of um, monitor monitoring like everything that's been going on my minutes, and uh, I think that was a big part of it. Um, at times, I might be frustrated because I want to play more. Uh, I'm competitive. I want to be out there. I want to help my teammates win. Uh, but looking at the big picture, uh, the back-to-backs that I miss, and uh, kind of like the steps that it took for me, to get to where I am right now. Um, although I wasn't happy with it, I think he helped me a lot. And uh, for the rest of my career, I think he's gonna help me a lot. And 
Uh, but I'm glad that's all over. Uh, there's never going to be any minute restrictions. Uh, I think from the beginning of next season, uh, I'm going to be ready to go. Um, no minute restrictions, back to backs, and all that. So um, I can't wait to play my first 82 game season.